Matt, excellent speech. Excellent. Um, Vince, also excellent speech. Tough to follow, and we're going to try and not lower the tone too much. But we are talking about nickels, so let's get into it. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're having a wonderful evening at this beautiful venue. We know it's tradition to have one best man. However, we have to thank Matt for putting such trust in the both of us. We've been given the honor of being his best men. <laughs> However, looking at the, li the lineup of the groomsmen today, we feel it wasn't a difficult choice. <laughs> For those of you who don't know us, my name is Andy, and this is Matt. Woo! Best man number one. It's not what Cindy has been telling me. <laughs> <laughs> I've gone rogue, Cindy, sorry. <laughs> and best man number two. Yeah. I have to admit, we're still undecided who, which one is which. Okay. So when we were asked to be best men, we had been sworn to secrecy on just one to two stories. But, good news is, a few more roses in, we could be bribed into telling, into revealing quite a few of them. Other good news is, at the end of everyone's table, there's an envelope. If you all want to open it up, this should help with a bit of visual aids. Everyone's got one just in front of you, Nichols. That's such an easy blow. You can work out which picture is for which. Hello. <laughs> so when we had first had the pleasure of meeting Matt back in university, it was move-in day. He was a young, innocent, and believe it or not, <laughs> slender young chap back then. <laughs> he had a suitcase on one arm, and he had a crate of carling under the other. That one, as, as Nichols mentioned, he's cheap. That was the one on deal at the time. We thought, could this be the perfect fit? It was. After a couple of months of living together, though, we slowly started seeing some of Nichols' character, character traits. He went to our local nightclub in Cheltenham called Place. As exotic as it can be. He would shout towards the entrance of the club, pretending to know somebody just to skip the queue. Left us behind every single time. You know that one, don't you? Once he was in the club, though, you would see the dance moves. They were adventurous. They were ag aggressive. <laughs> so, if we're lucky tonight, we may see the famous rowing boat. <laughs> we may see the famous front roll. And if we're lucky, he does need a partner. So, Wendy, <laughs> he knows where to find you. Having known Nichols for over a decade now, we have witnessed him in a variety of compromising situations. <laughs> Us as best man, we call them doing a Nichols. <laughs> At university, me and Andy both lived in Dubai. So each time, each holiday, we would go back to Dubai ourselves. Nichols decided he was going to join us. <laughs> the booking, the first, uh, the first trip was an experience, though, to say the least. 
He booked the, he booked the flight himself, forwarded on the message, and had a smile from ear to ear watching us open the mail. Turns out, though, this was Boone and Nichols. We had trusted him to book this himself. We read the confirmation and realized he had booked the flight just so two years in advance. <laughs> and to add to the devastation, it was a 150 pound charge to change it. <laughs> for, no, for those of you who know Matt well, you know this is the ultimate devastation. <laughs> But, with the charge paid, his Nike three-quarter length shorts paid, packed, his Nike cap, and his 20-year-old sunglasses packed. Nichols was going on holiday. Three days into the trip, the Icelandic volcano erupts. Cause it causing chaos with the airlines right across Europe. And it was, he quickly came to the realization that he was not going home on his planned return flight. His holiday budget was now in jeopardy. Eventually, he came, to he came to accept that he would not be catching his original flight home and he knew he'd be staying for an extra few weeks. Now, with the budget officially gone, he turned to Matt's dad, Dave. Who's sat right here. Sat right here. <laughs> Dave was there to help him out with pints in the pub every night. So he ditched us his now best men, <laughs> and started going to the pub every night. He did, and this is all true. <laughs> we're, we're surprised that Dave's not having himself, given uh, how much time they spent together. <laughs> Fast forward a few years later, undeterred by our Middle East adventures, we decided we may have more luck stateside. So we headed for the Big Apple. Again, where Dave was living. <laughs> Throughout the 10 hour flight, Matt was complaining of a bad stomach. Before Dave could even say hi, Nichols was already in the toilet just off the lounge to relieve himself. 15 minutes later, all hell broke loose. <laughs> Matt had blocked the entire building's draining system. <laughs> Just off the lounge, very small apartment. <laughs> the smell spread very quickly. So before we knew it, the New York Fire Department were on site to help resolve the situation. <laughs> Needless to say, our best man status was reconfirmed. <laughs> so some of you may be aware, but some of you may be not. Matt has had quite the array of jobs. Yeah, yeah he has, hasn't he? He brought up, earlier in his speech, the local cash and carry. Employee of the month consistently, he tells us. He was a rental car delivery driver. And he was self-proclaimed Payton's number one karate salesman. The issue is, it was door-to-door -door sales. And the guys from back home had shaved his eyebrows off. 
There's picture evidence. I think you can see it. Who wouldn't want this hairless guy selling karate at your door? But it didn't stop there. Nichols' job and sales appetite wasn't fed with this. So what he did was, he went off, did an intense 15 minute YouTube tutorial. tutorial. Yeah, he did. And he found his calling. He had be now become a direct competitor of British Gas. Unfortunately for both his best men, we were his first victims. He sat us down, he started his pitch. He explained to us, if we sold this solution, a referral scheme, to our parents, who in turn sold it to our grandparents, we could be living bill free for the next 25 years. <laughs> Loving this idea and naively, we love this idea. We made the calls, we ran the numbers, and we realized, hold on a second, it's not what it's meant to be. <laughs> Two hours later, we had done the calculations. We realized we'd been living with our very own in-house con man. <laughs> and now we were in the thick of a pyramid scheme. <laughs> sorry, mum and dad, sorry, Richard and Ainsley. And Nichols is still living bill free. Yeah. <laughs> A few years later, we were traveling again. This time away visiting temples and taking all the wonderful sights of Nana Plaza and Koh San Road. Bangkok. For those of you who know what I'm talking about, shame on you. <laughs> if, if, you're, if you're planning to travel there soon and want advice on the best places to, to visit, ask Matt because he's got the, he knows all the places on the back of his hand. <laughs> As the week went on, we noticed that Matt was spending more and more time on his phone than usual, texting for hours and giggling like a teenage go go. <laughs> Finally, we found out. While we were on the back of a tuk tuk traveling at uncomfortable speeds through the back streets of Bangkok, he told, that he told us that he'd met someone. Of course, via the tradi traditional way of Tinder. <laughs> Same thing. He told us that she was tall, blonde, and even better, Miss Wales. <laughs> Naturally, all things considered, we were desperate to meet Matt's new girlfriend. And after a long, overdrawn three months, we finally met AJ. Needless to say, everything he told us was true. So, stories aside, we would like to thank the bridesmaids. Kerry, Tanya, Amy, Emily, and Lily. Could there be more of you? <laughs> you look absolutely beautiful, and thanks for all the preparation you have given AJ for a big thanks. I was informed, though, that you put special padlocks around the room so she couldn't make an escape. <laughs> all jokes aside, though, I think we can all agree how amazing AJ looks today. Absolutely. For the past six years, Matt and AJ have been building a great life together. Traveling the world, they've already formed so many great memories and have so many wonderful 
and sometimes scary experiences to look back on. It's easy to see that they both come from very loving families. Vanessa has done a wonderful job in bringing up Matt into the fine man he is today. And we all know that his father, Tim, would be extremely proud of all of the achievements he's had to date. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wendy and Vince, you have raised a wonderful daughter who is always smiling and a joy to be around. We are privileged that Matt has brought her into all of our lives. And as they go through life, we are sure that they will adopt all the principles you've given them in raising a beautiful family for themselves one day. So for the last time today, can I ask everyone to stand? We need our own drinks. And raise a glass to the newly formed Mr. and Mrs. Nichols. Yeah.